Thanks, Richard. Dr. Paul McKendrick will officially start his new job as Tuscaloosa City Schools Superintendent September 1st. But for the next few weeks, the Virginia native will come to Tuscaloosa two or three days a week to get settled into his new position. So how did he spend his first day on the job? WVA's Leah Knight tells us. Superintendent Dr. Paul McKendrick spent the first day in his new office meeting staff, taking pictures, and reviewing the school system status. We've done most of our hiring. I think we were under 15, 20 people to hire. Um, we've gotten, we have an idea of facilities, especially for the two schools that were devastated and uh, where the children will be going, and have uh, at the point now of making sure that materials and the logistics of just getting children into the, the, uh, the classrooms for other schools. McKendrick will make $800 every day he works between now and September 1st. After that, his $195,000 a year salary will kick in. McKendrick says waiting to start the job in September was not an option because school begins August 10th. For me, the imperative is getting school started and getting school started the first week has to just be exceptional, probably more so than at any other time. And this year's back to school will be different from any other because of the April 27th tornado. As bad as that devastation is, I'm excited about the rebuilding of the city and the rebuilding of our school system. I've, I've used the term renaissance and probably will use it for the next two to three years because I think it will be a rebirth of, of things that have done of a system that has done some wonderful things and is trying to get back on its feet. Even though Dr. McKendrick doesn't yet have a home in Tuscaloosa, he is already in town making sure everything is planned and ready to go for the beginning of a new school year. I'll be meeting with community members, meeting with board members. I want to get a feel for the community, get an idea of, of what uh, the community wants and, and what the needs are, and uh, I'll be using those first four to five weeks for that purpose. Reporting in Tuscaloosa, Leah Knight, WVUA News. The Tuscaloosa Rotary Club and Chamber of Commerce of West Alabama are hosting a luncheon for McKendrick tomorrow at Indian Hills Country Club. To see if there are still seats available, you can call 205-391-0559.